We're back with Mayim Bialik talking about Big Bang Theory, superheroes, and kids. Yeah, and, 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 uh, science. and science. So as, as you mentioned, not just a scientist on TV, PhD in real life, in neuroscience. Yep, that is amazing. You are part of a campaign called STEM, partnering with t Texas Instruments right. to get kids interested in science. Tell us a little bit well, about I've it. Well, I've been the, the spokesperson for Texas Instruments for, this is my second year, um, but we have a new back to school campaign that's called STEM Behind Hollywood. And the website is stemhollywood.com. And what we're doing is we are providing free um, activities that teach the science behind Hollywood concepts like zombies, superheroes, forensics, and space. Come on, what wow. kid is not into wow. those things? Well, and this is the thing. I mean, there's so much talk about science, technology, engineering, and math. And it's a lot of what I do with Texas Instruments is advocating for that for girls, for boys, for everybody. But we're taking concepts that kids are already interested in. And these activities literally teach the science behind, like, how zombies work, how superheroes actually, you know, how could they fly, how could they have these abilities, right. and as I said, space and forensics. So it's it's really, I think it's great to try and get kids enthusiastic about STEM, but even better to do this STEM behind Hollywood to say like, these are the Hollywood concepts that you see, but there actually is real science behind them. Right. It's a great way to see how scientists actually work and how it feels to be a scientist when you can apply all of those mm -hmm. skills to real life things, especially the ones that are so popular in Hollywood. Right. That's true. Like people watch CSI and like, exactly. I know kids that are just like, they love the forensics. And that's the thing, that's They're real science. And the yeah. earlier we can get kids to feel like this is what it feels like to be a scientist. These are the kind of things you can do. You're not sitting in a laboratory by yourself. That's not what being a scientist is like. We have something of a deficiency uh, for, for getting girls into math and science and technology in America. Why do you think that is? Um, I think there's sociological and historical reasons why women have been, you know, underrepresented in those fields. And I think we're, we're, we're seeing more of a shift in that. But part of it, I think, is role modeling. For me, I didn't think girls could be scientists. And one amazing tutor when I was 15 years old was the first woman that worked with me one-on-one -on -one and gave me that skill set and confidence to believe that I could do it. So that's part of what I do with Texas Instruments is I put a female face, a fun face yeah. on these subjects um, to hopefully encourage not only girls, but but kids young, as young as possible to, right. you know, this is the future of the workforce is STEM. Um, so yeah, so that's part of what I do. What about with your kids? They don't, they don't watch any TV, right? Or um, they've watched, they've started to watch some things in small amounts. Do you um, them on the computer? Or? No, I don't, I don't turn on the TV for them. I don't do stuff really on the computer, but they already have a TI Inspire CX because I've <laughs> oh, held a graphing do. calculator okay. since I was a kid. And to me, that's, it's a way to teach basic math and basic science stuff as early as possible. And it's still learning all the concepts, but it's yeah. important to, again, let them feel what it feels like to be a grown up, you know, scientist and science right. person. Right. Well, and they, and they have a great role model in you, Thank you. obviously, to get started in yeah. science and technology. Thank you. Great. Thank you for what you're Thank doing. You so Thank you so much for having me. Congratulations again on your, your Emmy. Dog. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He'll get Thank over you. it, I'm sure. Yes. Well, make sure to watch the premiere of The Big Bang Theory Thursday, September 26th.